what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel i'm steven turner here with turner fishing so we out on the lake pretty foggy morning it is not too bad though um so the goal for today you know i'm going for big fish i want to catch a 14 to 15 inch crappie today that is the goal we may have to weed through some but we're going to be open water fishing today i've got the other camera on the scope so i'll be able to show you kind of what i'm doing try to just walk you through you know how i use the scope to come out here in these channels and figure out these fish and hopefully put some in the box so oh we already out here on the channel i'll show y'all kind of what we're doing we've got a point coming out here right here we've got the creek channel that runs through here so we're going to troll around this point and we've got the other camera on the scope so let's get after it set up we're going to be using today for most of the day we may switch to my new rod and do a little bit of casting but we've got my 13 foot acc i've got a lose laser mg loaded with six pound vicious and on the money end of the deal we've got a number three split shot with a monkey milk and crappy man green little minnow on a 1 16th ounce head so let's go see if we can pluck some of these chickens off basically what i'm doing you know i stopped the boat back there but i'm trolling until i find where this flat ends because right now we're on like a 13 foot flat it's normally you know a lot deeper than that but the lake's down pretty good the lake's down about eight foot so we're just on this huge flat right now uh there's a lot of stripers and bass and stuff mixed in with all this but i kind of want to find where it drops off or find some type of structure kind of what i'm looking for because i haven't exactly seen a crap yet which i mean we've only been out here five minutes but it's just a, a lot of time on this trolling motor today that's going to be key to pretty much everything Ooh, there's one on top of this stump or pile or whatever it is right there oh he's interested got a giant giant <laughs> yes sir get in here boy oh god he's back out of the boat first drop well i ain't gonna say first drop i dropped on fish trying to find it but first drop on one i actually knew was a crappy Ugh. that's a nice way to start today i don't think he's a 14 inch we're looking for uh, nope he's 12 definitely a good start a little white fish in this dingy water but he was right there on that little stump. There's another one. Oh, when I hit the camera. There's another one right there too. So we'll throw him back here. See if we can't get the other one too. Yeah, I just want to take a break from catching all these huge fish today. Um, I thank my sponsor, Waterlands Fishing, because even though it's cloudy, these glasses make your eyes so they don't squint. And it really helps a lot and it makes the screen pop off a lot more so you're able to see your bait better and that equals catching better fish so y'all check out waterlands fishing i'll leave a link down in the description below use code turner fishing to help support the channel and get 50 percent off your order this is pretty much what i'm talking about right here you see how it's starting to dip down that would be the creek channel and that's what i want to ride in I mean, yeah, you can find them on this flat probably, but I know I'm gonna have better success if I get inside this channel and ride it out. I don't have maps or nothing on my boat, so kind of just gotta go with 
the little instincts. So we caught the big one off that pile. Now I see another pile out here about 50 foot. So I'm gonna slowly make my way there. It looks like there's some bass and stuff on top of it, but it's all good. They all live together. <laughs> There's some decent fish around here. A couple on that one right there. I don't know if I really see the magnitude we're looking for, but we are gonna drop down here and see what size they are. So you want the brightest return. So I got the brightest return right there. Now I'm gonna push my jig straight over top of one of them. I'm gonna drop it down to this bigger looking blob. Got a big blob right there. <laughs> like half of the struggle of this is honestly boat control. Like you've got to have good boat control to be able to get on these fish without scaring them there's a nice one right there that's a toad so i'm gonna creep up pressing the button letting go pressing the button letting go so we're directly in the cone switch hands pressing the button Getting us a little momentum. Letting go. So losing the cone. Cone went over here. That's what people don't realize about live scope. This is a mental hurdle, <laughs> so to speak. All right, we're right above him right now. Come on, buddy. There he is. Nice one. Ah, 10 incher. <laughs> I thought he was bigger than that. I mean, still a good fish, don't get me wrong. He creamed it though. <laughs> that monkey milk crappy man green. Another nice, nice dingy water fish. Number two. That might be a toad. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> a toad. Golly. Not hook very good either. Nah, he's hook fine. Yes sir. I don't know if the live scope camera moved or not. It's a nice fish right here, guys. <clears throat> Another quality, quality fish. Nice. Right there on that pile we just found. On that crappy man swim bait, he came up and just smoked it. It's pulled up here. The water's really, really dirty here. But we've got this huge, pretty much like a big ledge right here. I don't know if they'll be here or not. I didn't expect the water to be there. I mean, I like dirty water. Like, I don't know. All we can do is try to control the motor and see what we can find, I guess. But we've already got seven. And that one right there is a freaking toad, guys. <laughs> but I'm going to drop trolling motor. See what I can find on this little bank. If it don't work out, we'll head back towards the main lake. A little bit cleaner water to see what we can find. See if I can snipe this one. Got him. That's a good one too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Hopefully y'all seen that. He was swimming alone. Calm down, buddy. Normally when they alone, they are just super aggressive. Another nice 11 incher. Add to the Schranger. There he is. Finally. Hopefully y'all seen that. Golly. <laughs> Damn toad right there, guys. Oh, excuse my language. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's another. Let's see. A little thir 13 inch fish right there. Jeez. Look at that little pre spawn. Not even really pre spawn, just, you know, an early winter build. That's a toad right there, guys. <laughs> oh man hopefully y'all seen how i did that like i don't know how good the camera quality is on that thing but it took me a minute to get him to bite but i stayed on top of him he finally came up and got it i didn't think he was that big to begin with oh Oh, another big slab. <laughs> Gotta love it. I gonna need two more. So we definitely putting a hurting on them today, guys. That 124 ounce jig head, man, I'm telling you. Coming in clutch. They are just annihilating. The monkey milk swim bait with the 124. 